Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd Ayyuh ala habba The question arises What about our intention for fasting tatawa You know, extra uh, fast Fast that are not required of us Outside of the holy month of Ramadan and the other times When fasting may be required of us so the question arises, what about making the intention? Is it like Ramadan that we need to make it during the, the night before uh, we begin our fasting the next day? Ayyullah Habba, the A'imma, are in agreement that that is not a, 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 the case. That a person can make their intention. For example, even if you get up late, but you did not drink or you did not eat, and then you decide to fast on a Monday or a Thursday or during uh, the uh, uh, Ashura uh, Dhul Hijjah during that time period or any of the other times when fasting is uh, recommended that if you wake up late and you have not eaten or, or drank you can begin your fast and this is a rahma, a ni'mah, a, a mercy and a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the mu'mineen regarding fasting to make it easy upon us make it bearable and make it that it does not require much uh, preparation from us the shaykh mentions he says لا يشترد في نية صوم تطوى تعين يوم معين فيصح صوم تطوع بمطلق نية وهذا باتفاق المذاهب الفقهاء الأربع الحنفية والمالكية والشافعية وحنابلة So the four imams according to the madhahib that they are have a, they're in agreement that it does not require that you make your intention to fast uh, prior to that time and also that you do not have to that you can make a general intention that you don't have to make the intention that it was for a specific day or, or what have you so this is a great mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and something that the uh, imma the fuqaha the great imams in Islam are in agreement over and then the shaykh mentions he says ad-dalil he says the evidence for this on Aisha radiyallahu ta'ala anha qalat دخل علي رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ذات يوم فقال هل عندكم شيء فقلنا لا فقال فإني إذا صائم رواه بخاري ومسلم This is the hadith that was narrated in Bukhari and Muslim and this is evidence to show us uh, a couple of things the, the two uh, مسألتين that we just mentioned the two issues that we just mentioned the one of just making the general niyyah and number two of not requiring from us to make uh, the intention and and also even if you got up late or what have you and then you made your intention at that moment to, to fast without having eaten or drank so this illustrates for us both both of those issues Ayyullah Habba and it's the hadith of Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha where she said that the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam entered upon me one day and he said do you have anything? and she said no he said then verily I am fasting narrated in Bukhari and Muslim so this illustrates for us Ayyullah Habba those important issues that we already mentioned and that also that it's permissible for us to fast the extra fast without having made much preparation to do so meaning that if you woke up late and you decided to fast that day and it was a time in which it was permissible to fast it wasn't the Eids and it, um, it wasn't uh, you know specifically just Juma by itself or Yom Sept uh, Saturday by itself or what have you then in that situation it would be uh, permissible if you had had not eaten or drank prior to that time to begin your fast and this is a great rahmah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to take advantage of this mercy wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana muhammad 
wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam